in our crop check today. David Lehman, Managing Director of Simi Group, joins us now to tell us why farmers are feeling less optimistic. Good to have you on the show. <laughs> nice to be here, Angie. Thanks for inviting me. So farmers are the most pessimistic they have been all year. Why is this happening? Yeah, actually the sentiment uh, barometer fell to uh, 95 this, this month from 112 last month, so the lowest since November of last year. I think it's the realization that we have really great crops uh, coming, uh, very good supplies. Uh, the ending stocks for corn, for example, are forecast at the end of this coming crop year, 1617, to be at the highest level since 87, 88. So, so we're seeing uh, some, some very uh, and consecutive good crops. Uh, not really a pickup in global demand or, or growth economically. So we have a bumper crop harvest coming. What caused this? Just great growing conditions? Yes, good growing conditions. We're, we've really kind of geared up uh, the production side of, of the grain industry has and, and agriculture in general from the 2012 uh, you know, scarcity years. Uh, and consecutive drought years to consecutive really good uh, growing condition years. And farmers are, are, have improved their technology. They're using uh, better seed and, and doing a better job of, of putting on fertilizer and nutrients. But then we just had Mother Nature cooperate perfectly this year. Now your ag economic gauge also shows a surprise. Farmers are expecting higher prices for maybe fertilizer or herbicides out there. And of course, we've got that big merger between Agrium and Potash coming. Yeah, I think one of the things that we're seeing farmers are going to do is be more cost conscious and try to control their, their costs uh, better on, in this environment. Um, energy prices are still pretty stable, so that's the primary driver of their fertilizer prices. And so we, we hope those aren't increasing a lot. But, um, uh, they're going to have to f focus on cost and focus on managing risk in this environment. Right, that was my next question. Uh, can producers, can farmers get some sort of assistance at this point? Well, they do have uh, crop insurance that is provided uh, not directly by the government but subsidized by the, by the federal government to some extent. So that will help. Th those insurance policies are based on revenue for mm -hmm. the most part. So the higher yields that they're expecting are going to kind of offset the lower prices. So they, they may not get uh, the, the, the help there that they need. But the good ones are using our markets and we had a risk premium in our markets back in when we spoke the last time right. in July. Uh, weather was still uncertain. Uh, yields were uncertain. So they were using options and futures at CME Group to, to lock in better profits. Well, there you go. And what's not so great for farmers with lower prices on commodities is wonderful for consumers, right? Will this that's, price that, action trickle down? That, that's right. It will. Uh, livestock producers uh, have lower feed costs now. Their prices are lowering. Uh, so that should mean lower prices at the grocery store eventually. Uh, dairy prices are quite low as well. And so, so eggs, milk, those type of things, uh, consumers should see some lower prices in the supermarket. Wonderful to have you here. Come back soon. My pleasure. Thanks, Angie.